Hi everyone, it's Kim. I wanted to make a quick video. I have um, made these soaps um, nine days ago and I have not had time to cut them. I know it sounds crazy because I used to wake up in the morning after I'd made soap and could barely wait to get them out of the mold to cut them. They've been out of the mold and airing, but they just haven't been cut because I haven't had any space. My daughter's moving home and um, we've just been rearranging the house. So it's just like, Everything's kind of in disarray, so I haven't had time. But anyway, so this is, um, without further ado, this is um, fairy tale. I did it different. I did it um, um, with different coloring, and um, I hope that it, it's it's going to turn like a, a light caramel. I added a lot of titanium dioxide because this scent does discolor, and there's some poppy seeds on top. I hope this angle turns out okay. Um, and so let's see how it goes. Let me just trim off the end a little. And so this is what they'll look like. Those are supposed to be like um, French, not French, Spanish lavender. It's my favorite kind of lavender, the way it looks. I like the way the little um, petals look like um, feathers flying in the wind. And so they'll just each have a few little, come on, focus, a few little um, flowers on the top, and it will discolor. And so there's... Um, 14 bars of this one made with the scent called fairy tale that I have which is kind of like um like pink sugar lavender um lemon sugar it's just it's just different okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop cutting those right now and move on to the next one I want to make it quick. Let me do start from the zoo. Okay, so this one is another fairy. It is um, fairy dust. I've made this before. Those are little butterflies on the top. Same colors. It does discolor a little bit because you know how all these like good sweet scents they do discolor. It is what it is. And so, um, um, Let's see what it goes, what, what it looks like. I'm just gonna trim off the end a little. Straighten it up. Ooh. I have um, Snowflake, I think it is, glitter mixed in with the black um, activated charcoal part. And so it has that little bit of sparkle. Now, if you see the outer edge, it, it will darken the whole thing. And to me, it just kind of gives it more of a muted look instead of it being such an intensely bright color. Um, so I don't really have a problem with the amount of um, um, darkening or discolor discoloration. That one looks cool. Can you see the sparkle in the black? And then the little butterflies on the top with the sparkle. That was just a drop swirl. I'm, infin I'm infamous for that. Although I did run a coat hanger through there. Cause I always try to get those. I love, my favorite swirls are the ones that look like um, Nightmare at Christmas kind of um, lettering. The way it's got that kind of like swirl to it. That's like a, I don't know if you've ever seen that type of font. I love fonts and um, Ooh, this one turned out beautiful. Um, and the, just the little swirl to it. Okay, one more. I hope this angle is going to work okay. Because with this, with this rig, I can literally move it any which way. Okay, now I'm going to do... Candelaria. The colors in Candelaria this time 
are a little bit different. They're a little bit bluer. Let's see how it goes. I'll turn it this way so I don't drag the salt through. like the way this one looks. Candelaria is sort of an ocean scent to me because Candelaria is a patron saint who came out of the ocean carrying the baby Jesus, carrying a candle and she showed herself, this is like the fable, and she showed herself to some shepherds on one of the Canary Islands and that's where my ancestors come from and that's why I have the name. I've already told the story before but anyway and I just thought that it was um, apropos since she carried a candle that I may as well um, have that name um, as part of my business name just because I'm really into genealogy and history and stuff like that and I just thought it was like a way of honoring them. So anyway, that is Candelaria. Now let me go get another one. This is um, cucumber and mint. It's always one of my favorites. It smells so good. It has um, mint leaves mixed in there and um, so three different shades of green and yeah and then some mint leaves on the top it smells so fresh I did drag a coat hanger through this drop swirl. Okay, let me take this one out and I'll move on to the next one. And then I had had somebody request that they wanted some um, um, heart and crown. I made this a million times. You see me cut it a million times, but I didn't have any multi, multani or whatever that is, the Fuller's Earth Clay, which I normally use for um, this. So I used um, um, pink rose clay for this. Or no, not pink rose clay. What's the other one? Um, French pink clay. Okay. And it's just the two colors. It's not but it's, it's just the fact that it smells great. It's a great scent. Very clean. It's simple. But then I took um, heart shaped in different colors of soap and, um, and made little hearts that I shove into the top. Very simple. Okay, let me move on to the next one because I don't want to run out of time. This is just a small batch of um, of Naked Beauty. I didn't have as many flowers this time to put on it, so um, it's just got a few of the unscented flowers, but this is a, a Naked Bar. It's, it's unscented and um, just, just good for people who are you know, they don't want any um, any kind of additives added to it or any scents. And 
and so that's it and it has a few roses the color that i used in that is just some um clay i did add some clay to it so i, I guess it isn't truly a naked um scent but i mean a naked soap but i wanted to have a little something in there and so and then i just piped these leaves but they kind of um puffed up because i always oven process my soaps and then the last one is um, Renaissance, which is always beautiful. I love it. I love purple roses. Trim off the ends a little. I usually plain them, but I just thought I'd trim it off. And there's some dried um, bath tea on there. And so yeah, that's it. What's not to like about that one? I love it. Oh, and this is um, ground um, rose powder. And it'll darken up. I just did that for some interest in the inside just to give it a little different look. I just love the way the roses look, the purple roses. But anyway, so this is my um, seven batches of soap that I made um, nine days ago. Thank you for watching, and I will be having them listed next month. Thank you, and have a great day.